you can love somebody and still fuck another bitch. Because I've been in love yeah. and fucked another nigga. Yeah. And it's like, I don't love that nigga. I love you, nigga. Yeah. And then fuck another bitch that don't mean nothing. But when a girl fuck another nigga, she like him. She like seeking to yeah. potentially be with that other nigga. If the girl step out on her man, she has to be like emotionally like no. not even no. feeling him no more. No? I, I, I ain't I'm got a, no feelings. I'm a hoe. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't got no I, feelings. I, I, so you telling me you can be in love with a man and go get some outside and that's why come right I, back home like and yep that's yes. why I can understand a man mm. I'm being real like I've done it I yeah. literally f***ed another nigga and been like ill like I I was so bad like yeah. I didn't, this wasn't even worth it yeah <laughs> I went home like baby I love you so much You're like what was Are I you doing hungry? let me cook for you like I felt so bad but I'm saying y'all be the same girls y'all got. But then if we be like having a side piece, y'all get mad at us. Who get mad? One of my niggas is married. Do what you do. Because <laughs> I'm going to do what I do. So you don't get jealous? I don't know about you, but I'm going to turn up jealous away. What if you like him a little bit? I do. I love him, actually. You don't get jealous when he go home to his wife? Not. Absolutely not, baby. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be waking him up like, babe, it's 3 o'clock. You as gotta long go, as he cutting that check. Baby, go home. Don't get in trouble now. Not because of me. He's going to fuck other bitches regardless. They don't give a fuck. I've accepted that fact. I think it's an understanding. You just got to have that understanding with them. Everybody's different. That's not for every. Koho layam la. Abanawa Yahawa Bahashim Yahawa Shai Bahashim Rekak Radash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Now, as you just saw in this video, man, complete madness. <laughs> Hey man, we need your high boss, Shimmy Hawa Shot ASAP, man. And the, the broad with the white wig or gray wig, whatever, whatever the hair color is, I don't know, man. You know, it's just all types of foolery, man. But um, it's one thing that she said is, that's correct. When a woman cheats, she likes that dude. She's uh, uh, emotionally invested into uh, either being with that man or having some type of bond or relationship with that man that she's committing adultery with against her husband man you know so uh hey man this is this is what this is this this is the uh the life we live in right now in this society man you know where they promote wickedness and abominations filth transgressions everything man this is this is the uh you know the the glam the glitter and everything else man which is uh you know pollution man so this is the book of St. James, chapter 4, verse 4, and it reads this. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And two-thirds of our people love the customs, the philosophies, the ways, what this society produces. The freedoms it gives for you to be wicked, okay, because, you know, they elevate and evolve in wickedness, man. And our people have cleaved onto the ways of the heathen, man. You know, they, they get they get an, an adrenaline rush out of being wicked, man. Our people are mentally, physically, spiritually sick, man. Okay, our people are literally destroyed, man. And as I always state in, that, in uh, other Akim too, the only way for us to be cleansed, purified is either through being woken up to this truth or through death, man. It's either, it's only two ways, man, either through the truth or death, man. And may Yahweh Hashem Yahweh keep us true, sincere Akim wa Akwa in this truth, man. Okay? But whatever, I, whatever our lot be, whether it be death before this place get judged, may the Lord resurrect us on that first resurrection, man. So this is going to be the book of Isaiah chapter 1, verses 4 to 5, and it reads this. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, 
they have provoked the Holy One of Yasharala onto anger. They are gone away backward. Because our people, man, they don't seek righteousness. They don't seek to do anything that's right. They seek to do things that are wicked, things that which this world produces, which is in vain, which is unholy, profane. Okay? These are the things that our people seek to be a part of, to, 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 to show forth with the work of their hands, man. These are the things that our people uh, love to commit, love to do, man. Okay, our people don't seek the truth. Our people don't seek Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. They seek their own will. Okay, their own wicked deeds, man, which is going to lead them to death, to judgment. Verse 5 Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more, which our people do, man. They, they rebel more and more. They get more wicked and more wicked each and every second of the day, man. Okay, what Jake has done yesterday. And what he has done today has surpassed yesterday. And what he's going to do tomorrow is going to surpass today. Why should you be stricken anymore? Ye shall revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. So look, I just said, man, our people are literally, spiritually, mentally, physically destroyed and sick, man. And there's only two ways out of this situation. Either the Lord wake you up, resurrect you into this truth, give you that life and breathe that life into you, give you the knowledge, wisdom and understanding, or he's going to put you to death, man. Those are the only two ways for you to be cleansed, for you to be purified, man. And 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 and, and what you what you seeing and what you saw in this conversation is a disgrace to our nation, man. The Lord is showing forth the evidence, the examples of why our people have to be put to death, man. Two-thirds of our people, man. Of what he will do and what he has caused to be done to our people for rebellion against him, man. For being hard-headed. Okay? For not listening and hawking to his words, man. And abiding in his customs, his laws, statutes, and commandments, man. Okay? This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5. Verses 14 to 15, and it reads this. I will therefore that the younger woman marry. Okay, so these women right here, obviously they're young women. They shouldn't be on a goddamn podcast talking about hopping, hopping from rod to rod and being in a fucking relationship, which is a marriage, and then going out and getting some other dick, man. Our people need judgment, man. Again, the Lord is making the men, the true sincere Akim, the prophets, the apostles, the teachers. He, are, he, he is making our heart cold, man. I don't give a fuck if you don't like what we say, how we bring it out, what we speak, how we speak, and how we teach. If you don't like it, fuck you, unsubscribe, man. Because we tired of saying this, man. Okay, the Lord is making our hearts cold, cold man. Okay? Because pretty soon in the, in the near future, in arm's reach, okay, in the near future, in arm's reach, the Lord is going to start judging multiple upon multiple upon multiple Israelites, man. And you women outnumber us men. Why do you think the Lord made it like that? The Lord made it like that so men can have more than one wife, okay, so, so that nation can be built uh, stronger and stronger and increase and multiply. Okay, and as I made a, a lesson yesterday or the day before, are you really in the truth, man? First Timothy chapter five, verse 14. Again, I will therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak repulsively, man. And that's what you're seeing, man. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. For some already turned aside after Satan. And that's what you're seeing, man. You're seeing the deeds and the work and the will of Satan being done right here in this podcast, man. You're seeing it, man. Even though you had some of these women sit right here and say, well, my man can go lay with another woman. And that's lawful. A man was created to be with multiple women. A woman was created to be with one man. 
Okay? But the devil has told you, you women, especially you Israelite women, that you're supposed to be put on a pedestal. You're supposed to be uh, 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 exalted. You're supposed to be the apple of his eye. You're, su you're supposed to be his only and only in one love lover, man. Only in one wife. He should be tending to your needs. Everything is reversed in this society. Everything is reversed in his kingdom, man. Okay, the men have become servants to the to the weaker vessel, man. Which that, that's just, that that is complete complete abominations in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahusha. But why is that? Verse 15 again, for some already turn aside after Satan, man. You let the devil from the beginning until now, okay, pollute your mind, man. And also right now, we're going to close up because the point is made, man. But also this is what you see in this conversation too, man. This is the book of Isaiah chapter one, verse eight. And it reads this, and the daughter of Zion is left as, as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Let me read that again for you. I don't think you heard what I just read. Isaiah chapter one, verse eight, and it reads this. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers. As a besieged city. And this city is, is besieged, man. This city is it looks, it's, 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 it's ripe and ready for the taking, man. Okay, as 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 that uh actor Al Pacino said in the movie Scarface, this place is one big pussy waiting to be fucked, man. That's what America is, man. America is is is, is getting riper and riper for the taking, man. Okay, but these women, man, are talking about being amongst cucumbers, man. Different rods, okay. Different shapes, lengths, and all that, man. Let me read that one more time, man. Because I don't think y'all heard that, man. And we're going to leave it right there. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 8. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers. Are they not talking about jumping from rod to rod? Going from this man to the next man? Having their pleasures? Living their best life? Carefree? Don't have to answer to nobody. No accountability. None of that, right? It's not what this conversation is about. Just promoting wickedness, man. As they lodge in a garden of cucumbers as a besieged city, man. Hey, man, we got to get the hell up out of here, man. We got to get up out of here, man. But, man, I'm going to leave it right there, man. You know, just, just straight to the point, man. So, you know, I don't want to rot hoping I pray that this is edifying and uplifting to the hopeful elect. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.